Hi, I'm Kev from Little Eskimos. And uh, I'm Will from Little Eskimos. Say it, but I would rather be right. Yeah, really excited uh, to be supporting Sons and Daughters, who are, uh, you know, really great band. Yeah, seen them uh, tea in the park about six years ago, and uh, uh, been following them since then. Yeah, yeah likewise, it's going to be good. Like we're feeling really good about it so far. So, if all goes well, we're going to be very happy chappies. The, the band's kind of been operating on sort of like a skeleton crew for the this whole year. I've been producing bands such as. Uh, Fantastic uh, Stevie and the Moon and um, you know Miniature Dinosaurs and Jack Butler, three bands who just happen to be like three of my favourite bands uh, for around about this area. Um, so I've been very fortunate to do that. Unfortunately, that's meant I've not had a lot of time to spend on this band. But a couple of months ago, I recorded just a, an EP just by myself under the name of Little Eskimos, like like the album, and um, we're going to be releasing that soon. Um, now that I've got a new lineup that uh, is working incredibly well. We're going to be hopefully recording a single for the end of the year, for release early next year. <laughs> Wishful thing at this point, you know, but we like to do some festivals, you know. Uh, we had a, a good experience a couple of years ago playing some festivals and we want to do a tour at some point early next year. Um, we're actually looking at doing Europe. Um, we've got some connections uh, on the continent, as they say. I start a short Scottish tour, maybe early next year, um, just in support of the EP and the single and stuff like that. Right, and we're starting our new year at King Tut's on the 3rd of January. Plugged. I mean, I got a four track when I was like 19, and ever since then I've been recording myself, progressing from four track to eight track to you know digital 16 track to computer, which is unlimited track. <laughs> and with this band, you know, like I say, when I write the song, I, I know pretty much how it's going to sound. So yeah, and, and that's just been for recording for like the last 10 years myself and uh, somehow I mean I thought everybody done that but it turns out no so you know I, um, I'm just been fortunate enough that people have like you know liked what I've recorded of theirs you know um, and like, totally stoked for tonight we had a, a rehearsal uh, last night that uh, blew everybody's socks off you know the the, the, yeah. the positive vibes were flowing as they say and um, just hope we play a good gig and uh, for the rest of the year we're just going to record the new single and um, sort of you know, get more rehearsals in. We've had like 16 hours worth of rehearsal. I mean, we've not got any more gigs uh, until like early next year. So this year we're just going to enjoy Christmas and just get ourselves prepared and fit for uh, blowing the roof off next year. in the Mohawk Lodge and I, I'm the main songwriter in my own project that uh, Ryder plays bass in too. He'll probably introduce him. Eamon McGrath, right here ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Actually thought we were playing a little bit later so we rolled in and loaded on the stage and pretty much started playing it's great it's awesome man it's uh yeah it's 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 i like we were all when we were driving north we were talking about how like the the the, the island gets kind of gradually more and more like gothic as you as you go north and everything I'd like uh, we really like that and you guys we were talking about how hard you all hit the sauce is that, is that true? Which is awesome. So we're, we're working 
to catch up to. We're trying to catch up to me. Because <laughs> we're, I mean, the thing, we, we're so shocked, the fact that we're Canadians and we're freezing. And we also are, are kind of heavy drinkers. And, and, you know, so we found a place that's colder than what we're used to. And everyone's twice as drunk as we usually are. <laughs> the show's been awesome. It's, yeah. This is the third time we've been back this year. Um, we also play as the Mohawk Lodge. And uh, so the two bands have been playing together. And, uh, yeah, we've, we've actually had our best gigs yet on this tour. I have a tendency to kind of make the plans first, and then the band sort of uh, orbits around the plans that we made, which I think is, all, is actually a really good way of doing it because you're sort of you're forced to work with people that you really trust and, uh, and uh, get along with really well, and you're forced to pick uh, musicians that are really capable of, of, of kind of dealing with that kind of pressure, you know? So we we booked a tour and then we decided on who would be in each band, you know, and that's and so Lee has only been in the band for about a week and a half. Yeah, so I and, uh, got to Toronto like a week before we left. And, and, and Ryder like three times. Yeah, and and, and, and Ryder kind of uh, like about you know a year ago or six months or eight months ago sort of uh, picked me to play guitar in his band because of a tour that we booked first, you know, and this is like ages ago. So it's like it's cool things. Um, with us always sort of ferment, you know, over time, and and I think that this tour has been a way that, uh, in in, has been a way that, the Rubik's cube of like the of these people, these like five people as like a, as a band and as a group of musicians is really starting to kind of click right now, you know, and you can really feel it happening as the shows go on, and the shows have been, have been great. Like Lee and Ryder, for example, have always kind of pushed me to sort of be more uh, meticulous or, or like, I guess Apollonian or something in in. Uh, and like how in like the process of like writing or rehearsing or whatever. Okay. Well, uh, Eamon's first record was called Thirteen Songs of Whiskey and Light. And uh, it was thirteen songs called from about hundred and eighty. I, I listened to about to eighteen of his home recorded records for about a month straight and uh, and you can pick that up anywhere <laughs> online. Then Peacemaker came out or is actually coming out in the UK uh, this April and but you could find it on iTunes now. <laughs> and I guess the, the Lodge, the Mohawk Lodge is supporting Crimes, which is, uh, yeah, a record that, you know, Ryder, Ryder's the primary songwriter for that band, obviously, but, uh, I mean, we've, we've kind of both had a hand in each other's, in each other's music and, and in the, you know, like the process in, in, in supporting and promoting the music. four years because that was kind of summer 2006 mm. we did I think it was one of the best ones of the tour yeah um, certainly because it was one of the only Scottish ones as well but it was just the, the fact we've never played there before and, you know we yeah. had records out by that point and we've always just played Glasgow or Edinburgh or something you know so it's good to play somewhere different and I think people appreciate that yeah. first album The Eternal the Eternal Argument, um, the first al album we had out was like, a, you know, seven songs and people reckoned it was kind of a mini LP, but it, it, it was an album to us, you know. Um, so we're on our fourth and we just um, 
finished the recording of it in Glasgow this time. And yeah, I think we're dead dead happy with it. We did more more work for it for it than ever, really. Yeah. We've spent more time on it than any other record and you know, um it, it, it has taken a while. Um, but you know, we're really proud of it and I, th I think it does represent us. It is a definitely a leap forward, possibly more than the others in some ways. But in other ways it's just completely us, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty different than the last record. And we certainly, yeah. I think we've had a lot more input on this record as well. Yeah. It's sort of hard back to the first two where we had a bit more control. Um, it was so. way more collaborative than, say, the, the one we did with Bernard Butler. Yeah. Well, that's the only one that wasn't really collaborative. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, it, it's sonically quite different. Songwriting-wise, I would say there's some on there that are the same, very minimal, um, you know, kind of getting back to having a lot of space, space at, in amongst the band and not cluttered up with loads of harmonies and like three million guitars and things <laughs> like that, you know. Um, this one's a lot more spacious and a lot, it's a lot darker, I would say. So quite menacing. Yeah. Back to kind of repulsion box era, scary without a lot of the shouting. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of funny when we look back at photos of us at South by Southwest in 2003 and think, oh, it's we're so innocent and naive and, you know. Fresh face. Fresh faced. now we're just bitter, twisted. Yeah. Another great wave of music's around the corner because the Tories are back in, so. <laughs> yeah. We were just talking about that. There's a new, I think. You know, when something bad happens to the country, such as a Tory, Tory government, you know, it's kind of because it kind of feels like being back in the eighties again, and I think hopefully it'll, you know, you know, a lot of creativity will come out of it, mm. and the sort of revolt against their evil. It's already <laughs> starting. Right, pretty much we've got tonight, and we're playing the uh, Bowley Two, Bell and Sebastian's created ATP thing. That's. Um, a week's time. Then we're, we're also actually mixing the record in amongst all that and then next year we hope to just play as much as we can, you know, that's pretty much what we're going to do. So whoever asks us to come and play will probably do it. Uh, I, I think with the last record we didn't do enough European dates as mm, well. So. Yeah, we kind of, I mean although like we, we love playing in America and um, you know, a lot of people come and see us play in the States. We've always said that we should, you know, be in Europe more. So that's what we're going to try and do this time. <laughs>